Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a new speed mapping video. Um, I'm on a platform uh, and I'm surrounded by ocean as you can see. And that's because today I'm gonna create an island and not any sort of island. It's gonna be designated for a mini game that I'm gonna also create. Uh, in today's uh, episode and the mini game I'm gonna do uh, it's gonna be a egg hunt obviously I think that's kind of cool and uh, I haven't really thought about any details right now and how I'm gonna create that mini game but I think I can uh, I'm gonna think about it as I uh, as I do this stuff so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna talk any longer. So yeah, let's get to work. Let me let me let me get my tools, man. Yeah, let's get to constructing this island.
and that's everything. Uh, I ran out of this space. So I had to do a little bit of work off camera, but uh, yeah, I, I, I've done a little bit of stuff. I've also installed the egg hunt system, uh, which I'm gonna present you in a little bit. But first, let's actually go into fly mode, because I wanna sh uh, explain you uh, how this event is going to happen. So we have uh, three uh, courses that, they, that the participant can take, and the first one is this one, this uh, hub tube, uh, sort of, is like, is, it's like a race, you have to go to the finish line which is all the way over here where you get congratulated by the, uh, the cute bunny that I created <laughs> and here you can find a lot of eggs like nine and you're gonna find another one here plus all the eggs uh, that you find along the way uh, the second course the player can take is going up the stairs uh, inside this tube and ending up over here up here where you can also find a bunch of eggs and get this parachute and jump down on this platform here. Uh, then you have to proceed, uh, you have to basically do this parkour here and you're gonna end up on this platform that's going to race and you have to go to that top platform, I can't speak, to that top platform and get another parachute and jump down into the hot pot. Uh, which by the way, don't ask me why I created this. <laughs> I just put this uh, tube here and it just came, that's my phone, and it just came out. Uh, I don't know. I thought it's gonna be fun. The third uh, course is going to be the parkour course, which is, in my opinion, the most difficult one because you have the chance of falling down and having to start from the start. Uh, basically to start over again right so because of that uh, i added some checkpoints these um, pads here these round uh, pads here are basically checkpoints so once you enter in this checkpoint you're uh, you're gonna be a respawn here and there's also a command to respawn here i'm gonna i'm gonna show that in a little bit the all the commands i have made for this event to happen so yeah the, it's basically like a race uh, where the players will have to compete with each other to get as many eggs as possible and that's how the event basically happens the other course is to just uh, run around and roam and find the eggs that are basically scattered almost everywhere so those are the courses the, the four courses right uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, what happens and how you start the event you have to type eh which stands for egg hunt and then start but you you, you need to be air logged uh, for that function and as you can see the event starts and the platforms here and the obstacles here start moving in order to join the event you have to type eh join and as you can see on the left side there's a, a display showing the time the time I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to change it to 10 minutes because 5 minutes is really short and yeah you basically basically I cannot speak today you basically have to find uh, as many eggs as possible okay so the event uh, has five more seconds left and as you can see I have collected 47 eggs and let's see what happens when it's all over and this is what happens you get respawn and then the winner as you can see in the chat is announced you can always use eh help to see the list with all the commands available to you and if you're logged in as an admin you can even see the admin commands just like that and i forgot to explain how the checkpoint system works so you basically go inside the checkpoint and your respawn uh, is gonna be set here so let's say you've fallen down and you die you're going to be respawned right here at the checkpoint uh, that you say. You can also use uh, the eh respawn command to go back to the checkpoint or in case you want to change your checkpoint or I mean reset it you can use uh, eh reset and this will bring you back all the way here to the start of the game. So now I'm going to explain you something really cool that I created for this. Let me go to the island. I have created a system to add or remove the eggs with ease. So in order to edit an already existing egg, you need to type e-labels. 
like that and as you can see the labels are going to be displayed three commands um, to edit eggs the first command let me, let me set my skin because this bothers me there you go there's more like it let me hide the chat as well so the first command is c egg and this one creates an egg uh, so yeah that's how you create an egg it's quite easy uh, so if you want to delete an egg you can do that with the egg but uh, let me show you the chat. You need to provide the ID of the egg. So in this case, let's delete this one that we just created. And just like that, it gets deleted. And there's another command uh, which lets you uh, move the egg uh, where character is basically standing, right? So let's say I want to move this first one, this uh, ID one egg. To do that, you type epos. And once again, you need to provide the ID. And as you can see, it's quite simple and straightforward. You move the egg. Uh, so yeah, you basically have the freedom to uh, rearrange or remove or add even more eggs uh, to this island and make the event uh, fit your uh, your needs, basically. I want to make it uh, really uh, intuitive and versatile. And you can customize it even more. Inside the script you can change how much time the event is going to last for and you can even set if you want the player to get uh, teleported to the island or not. You can, for example, you can spread eggs all around Los Santos so when they join the event they won't be teleported and instead they'll have to look around Los Santos and find as many eggs as possible. And you can even change the teleportation uh, coordinates and make your own custom map uh, with the same egg system. And this concludes this video guys and I hope you find the map at least interesting and fun to play if not beautiful. And if you really like it make sure you hit that like button because it really helps uh, growing my channel. And if you want to get notified when I post more stuff, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And if you want to support my channel even further, uh, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description, along with all the social media stuff as well. Uh, but this is it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the description, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. And have a happy Easter, guys. Bye-bye.